Alola everyone and welcome to the channel. My name is Philly Beats You and in the last video that we did on the Z-Moves, a lot of you guys commented down in the comment section and said, hey Philly, why don't you do Z-Transform in the next video that you do? So I said, hey, why not? That's a great idea. So in this video, just like we mentioned, we're going to be talking about the move Z-Transform. Now, a few things you guys got to keep in mind. Number one, only two Pokemon can use the move Transform. Ditto and Mew. The second thing is that Transform is a normal type move, which means you're only going to be able to access the Z Transform part of it by equipping the Normalian Z Crystal to either one of those Pokemon. And the third thing that I did want to say is we're going to be talking about Transform just beyond the Z Transform implications in this video and how we can use that strategically with Z Crystals alone. So without further ado, let's get right into this video because this is kind of exciting to uh, show you guys. So here we are. We're going to go right into battle right away. We're not going to waste any time here. So here we are. Going right into the battle. Man, you guys are going to see... Oh, easy. We've got a nice Tauros over here. So we're going to throw out our Mew. And as you guys can see on the screen, Mew's health. Mew's health isn't doing so well. So if we're talking about a battle scenario against someone else on another team, on a Wi-Fi battle, I don't know, one of those things. But if you are, and you took a big hit on Mew's health now, see, I got Will-O-Wisp, Knockout, and Psychic on Mew, as well as Transform. But let's just say, you know, my moves aren't cutting it. I'm running short on PP on those moves. Um, my Mew's really low. I don't have a potion to heal it, and I only got a Z-Crystal on it, so I'm in trouble, man. What am I gonna do? Well, have no fear, my friends, because Z-Transform is there to help you. Z-Transform is basically going to be a free, a completely free move, or a free potion, a complete heal, complete full restore on your Pokemon. So here we go. It's using its Z-Power, using its Z-Move, using the Z-Transform, and boom! we transform into the opposing Pokemon. Now, what's so cool about it? Well, here's here's the thing. Here's the thing. We just got all our health back, and now we have access to a completely different move pool of that opposing Pokemon. We got Zen Headbutt, we got Takedown, Swagger, and Trash. And as you notice, guys, there's five PP of each, so we can use some of the opponent's moves as well. So that's pretty much the implications or the applications or whatever word, I don't even know what word I'm saying, but basically what Z Transform does, it gives you the complete change of form, which means you change your, your Pokemon species into the other Pokemon, your attack stats, your defense stats, your speed stats, special attack, special defense, any stat changes the opposing Pokemon has. Let's say your opposing Pokemon did a Dragon Dance. Well, guess what, my friend? You're going to also have those um, stat changes applied to your Pokemon as well and have their same move pool, which is a pretty awesome thing as well. So that's pretty much is Z transform on its own. So we're, let's let's get out this battle. Let's get out this battle now. And uh, we're gonna talk about something else that we can work with. The third thing I did mention at the beginning of the video, uh, how we can use transform beyond just the Z move. So here's the thing. Now, when you're playing an opponent or someone online, they're gonna have various teams, you know? And of course, some of their Pokemon on their own teams are gonna be countering each other in some form if you were able to transform into one of them. So I thought, you know what? That'd be interesting if we can change into one of our opponent's Pokemon, change into one of our opponent's Pokemon and use a Z move from that Pokemon as well. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna predict, um, we're gonna try to find a Raticate. Raticate is a dark type, all right? And I want to maybe put a dark Z crystal onto my Mew. So let me go ahead and just, um, let's put another Z crystal on it. So dark EMZ, we're gonna use this item. There we go. Since, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, there we go. Since Mew does Z transform, uh, and we're going to encounter a Raticate, that is the goal right now, hopefully we do get that Raticate in one shot, we'll be able to have access to the dark move, um, the Z dark move. And that's something to think of as well. Let's just say your opponent in a Wi-Fi battle has a Solomance, and you're able to transform your Mew into their Solomance, which would be pretty, pretty awesome. Then you can use the Devastating Drake Z move if you have the right move on Mew when you transform. So you, for you, so you first transform, and then you use the Z move on it. Oh, there we go. So we got Eradicate, just like we planned. 
So this is without Z transform now. This is this is thinking ahead of the game, but this is just an example in the wild battle. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna transform. Now hopefully in a Wi-Fi battle you strategize how you're exactly going to play against that other Pokemon. Um, let's say they're at low health, you take out that Pokemon, and there you go. Now you have a Pokemon of yours that can counter their team, which is pretty nice. Uh, so I'm going to now fight, and look at this. Since I did put my Dark Z Crystal on here, I'm going to Z Power, and I'm going to now have access to Black Hole Eclipse, which is a pretty cool thing. So here we go. Endeavor doesn't affect me now, because I'm a Dark type. So now our Mew is going to be using a Z-move. Black Hole Eclipse. Pretty awesome. And Transform is going to be a nice way of uh, getting that onto your opponents. So take one of your opponents, copy their Pokemon, and use a Z-move that they didn't equip on that Pokemon on their own team. Now that is interesting. Well, of course we didn't do much damage to here on Raticate, but that was just an example of what can happen. Anyway, I can't escape this battle, but let's go take a look at some stats and some interesting things when it does come into the Transform. So here we go. Pop on moving up, Sarah B, so you guys can take a look at this. So we have Transform here up on screen. Uh, the user transforms into a copy of the target right down to having the same moves set. So it talks about the in-depth effects, just like we mentioned. All these things do get copied when you do copy that Pokemon. That is a very big advantage, and I think this is what's interesting to note. The stat changes, so that's a big thing as well when your Mew is on low health. Um, to do with the Z transform if you're doing that and if you're not doing the Z transform and just want to use the transform strategy Keep that in mind as well. Just transform and use another Z crystal on their Pokemon And like we also said that these are the only two Pokemon that can use transform by leveling up Now we can take a look at ditto here and ditto has uh, two abilities We have regular limber where the Pokemon cannot be paralyzed while having this ability pretty lame ability I think Z Transform is pretty much pointless on Ditto, especially when you have the Imposter ability. Um, because right away when it sends a battle, it can transform into a random opponent on that field. So, like I said, if you want to use the regular transform strategy with the Z Crystal, Ditto's another good Pokemon that you could do it with. Put maybe a bug uh, Z Crystal on it, and you transform into maybe the opponent Scissor or Caesar, and then you use the, the opponent's. Uh, Pokemon against them with the Z move as well. So think ahead of the game when it comes to that. Uh, let's take a look at Mew as well. Now Mew is really interesting because Mew, Mew is a Pokemon that has access to almost every Z move I believe. So we're going to scroll down here and yeah pretty much all the usable Z moves are right over here. Mew has access to all of them. So depending uh, on what types of regular moves you have, you do have access to the Z moves. So when you're copying your opponent, be sure to think if they're going to have a certain move and what Z crystal you're going to equip. And it's a it's a kind of a whole entire strategy thing. So I yeah, that's that's pretty much it with Z Transform. I hope you guys can have fun. Go ahead and try it out. Let me know. Um, the results, what you guys did, if it worked online for you guys, if it didn't work online for you guys, uh, and comment down below. Let me know what what new Z moves or what certain Z moves do you want to see in a video and what strategies we can come up with. Comment down below, let me know, and while you're at it guys, check out the other Z moves on the screen and uh, smash that like button, subscribe if you're new to the channel, and I'll be seeing you guys for sure in the next video. This is Philly Beats You, and I'm out.